Hi, I'm Gila Kurtz, one of the co-founders and co-owners of Dog Is Good. And this is my dog, Bolo, my yellow lab, also known as the chief guide dog to get me out of the workplace and into nature. So like many of you who love to get away and go on adventures with your dog, like hiking and camping, which we love to do, you may have experienced lots of things that you absolutely should be doing. And then again, you may have discovered something you should not be doing. And so it is very important to remember what not to do. Dog is Good knows how much you love your dog, and taking him or her along for a weekend adventure camping sounds like a blast. But if camping is a new activity, your dog may not be as enthusiastic. Before you pack the tent and put your dog in the car, considering the following. Look at how old they are. Consider their breed type and their ability to ride in a car, long or, or short term. What is their training level? And more importantly, what is their temperament? How are they going to respond to all these new environments and the people and or things that they may encounter? It's also a good idea to test camp with your dog. So plan a day trip where you're away from familiar surroundings and in the outdoors. And just see how your pooch will do with just the day trip before you stake an entire vacation on it. Don't ditch the routine. Vacation mode? Yes. Ditch the routine? No. Remember how challenging it can be for your dog to be outside of its regular environment. Think about what happens to them when they are off their routine, when you're changing what they eat or where they're eating or when they're eating, if you're expecting them to exercise possibly a little bit more than they're used to, going on hikes or into new locations where they're unfamiliar. Be very cognizant of the fact that you are changing their routine just by being out of the environment. So either keep the routine as close to what it is at home or consider adapting your daily routine of what you will be doing on your vacation prior to going on your trip just to help your dog to adjust to these changes with minimal challenges. Don't push your dog's limitations. In addition to never camping alone, never hiking alone is also a great idea. However, don't push your dog too hard. In fact, with any activity you do while camping, if it's something that's new, don't overextend your dog's ability to do it. Keep the elements and weather conditions in mind as they affect your furry friend too. Be familiar with signs of heat stroke or cold weather challenges if it is cold. Remember, if you and your dog do not exercise daily, don't extend the outdoor physical activities.